choose between them is not to judge one against the other and say this is better than the other. Which one you prefer, well, you know, I suppose that depends what you're going to be playing. What I will say is you probably should buy both of these guitars because um, they are both different and you'll play them both differently. Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for clicking as usual. Very pleased to see you. So today we are going to do a comparison between two guitars that we've reviewed recently on the channel. Uh, both, both independent reviews already are up on the channel, so I'll put the links below so that uh, you can get a little bit more detail on both of these guitars from the independent reviews. So we'll try not to go over the ground that we've already covered. But what I wanted to do is compare the guitars side by side to, um, to see how they differ really. So the guitars in question are the Epiphone Les Paul Standard 50s and the Gretsch G something or other Electromatic uh, Jet. So both of these guitars were, were were born in the the 1950s, and I guess uh, I guess Gretsch and Gibson were fierce competitors of that time. Uh, both guitars were, were were obviously designed for the particular market at that time and, and what they thought that people wanted. So um, both of these guitars had some similarities, but but also quite a few uh, innovations and, and differences. So what we're going to do today is, is have a look at the similarities and the differences between these and, and then we'll, we'll play them and, and hear what they sound like. Right, so the buzzing has started because I've now, I've now turned the Fender Super Reverb on and it's very noisy. It's a valve amp, what do you expect? So Gretsch um, Electromatic G something or other, duo jet. So on the, the basic construction of the guitars is, is quite different, although they look the same. They've both got a, an arched, nice arched maple cap and they're both made of mahogany, mahogany bodies, mahogany necks. But the Gretsch here has got a chambered body. It's quite quite a lot of empty air inside that. If you put an F hole there, it would, it would essentially look like a semi-acoustic. Whereas the Les Paul's solid all the way through. Although they do have some variations of weight relief, which is drilled holes. It, it, it's different. This is completely, complete chambers all the way around, as far as I can tell. Um, which gives it a different, um, you know, a different feel completely, a different sound, it's a lot lighter. So the weights of these uh, should differ considerably. Let's, let's have a look at the weights. So the Les Paul weighs 8.86 pounds and the Gretsch weighs in at 8.59. So it's not a lot lighter, but it has got a Bigsby vibrato on it, which adds quite a lot of weight, I suspect. The other main difference we should compare now is the neck profiles. So. The Gretsch here has got a, a fairly shallow, and I think it's probably a C shape, whereas the Epiphone has got a nice 50s, vintage 50s style, much chunkier C shape. So let's do the measurements and compare these side by side. So on the Epiphone, width of the nut is 1.700, depth at the first fret, is 0.882, width at the 12th fret is 2.115, and the depth at the 12th fret is 1.015. And on the Gretsch, width at the nut is 1.728, the depth at the first fret is 0.861, the width at the 12th fret is 2.076, and the depth at the 12th fret is 0.906. And um, these are the profiles side by side on the 1st and the 12th fret. At first glance, they don't look to be a lot different, but they definitely do feel different. 
We've we've been through you know the hardware and the control setup and in the in the individual reviews. What I will say f for this particular comparison is that both the guitars have got humbuckers, and, and they're they're loosely based on the the original style of humbucker that was fitted to these guitars in in the fifties. Um, on on the uh, these modern equivalents, the Gretsch fit theirs with what they call Filtertron pickups. Uh, and the Epiphone Les Paul is, is fitted with the Epiphone Pro Bucker humbuckers. Let's measure the outputs of these pickups and see how they compare now. Pickup outputs on the Epiphone, the neck measures 7.21 ohms, and the bridge, 7.96. And on the Gretsch, the neck measures 4.18, and the bridge, 4.30. So the difference in outputs, let's, in real terms, let's see how, how that affects the sound of the guitars. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, um, we'll start with all the, all the controls at 10, and I'm just gonna literally sum, sum some simple chords, and we'll do that back to back on each pickup so that we can see the difference. All controls at 10. So you can you can hear straight away there's quite a different sound. Let's um let's put that on the neck pickup. So I've said before that the the Gretsch has got a much airier sound, and you can that's quite evident, isn't it? This is quite a. So put it on the in between -y setting. So that's um, that's quite interesting, isn't it? I mean, obviously, when you throw gain at these things, the differences are, are, are less obvious.
that was an overview with uh, identical settings on both guitars, volumes and tones at 10 throughout. Clearly there's more versatility from both guitars if you, if you play around with the controls a little bit, but we didn't really have time for that. So hopefully that, that overview, it shows, it shows that they, they sound different. I mean, they're chalk and cheese really, aren't they? Um, which one you prefer? Well, yeah, I suppose that depends what you're gonna be playing. The Les Paul to me does lean more towards blues and heavy rock. It feels it feels right. It feels like it would lean more towards blues and heavy rock and higher gain stuff. Clean sounds from the Les Paul, I don't think they're as nice as the clean sounds from the Gretsch, from, from these particular models anyway. The Gretsch has got a nice character to it that um, a, a clean at clean sounds, the, the Les Paul might, might lack, might be a little bit lacking in. Well, I suppose the Gretsch has always been a little bit of a, you know, a, in the shadows, you know, compared to the Les Paul. Um, but it's clearly a fabulous guitar. I would say it's definitely not because it's not as good as, it's just different. So current street prices in the UK, I had a look online and currently PMT, a big, big retailer over, over here in the UK, have got the cheapest prices on the line. Uh, the Gretsch, this Gretsch, they're selling for £459, and they have got it in stock. And the, uh, the Epiphone Les Paul Standard 50s, they've got for £467, um, which is quite a good little discount. Um, it must be said that mostly, most UK retailers will do price matching these days online. So... Um, you could probably pretty much have your pick of who you buy it from. You just tell them you've seen it cheaper elsewhere and um, and they'll likely match that. Is price matching also a, a thing in the in the States? I'd be interested to know. Please tell me. Um, so these are these are both great guitars. I mean they're you know, check out the independent reviews. I love both of these guitars. The intention of this film is to not choose between them, it's not to judge one against the other and say this is better than the other. Quite simply because they're different and, and, I, and I don't think you could do that. What I will say is you probably should buy both of these guitars because um, they are both different and you'll play them both differently. The impression of the Gretsch is that maybe it isn't a, a rock guitar, uh, but believe me it is. And, and in fact, I had an interesting comment from uh, from someone on the review that I did um, uh, of, of the Gretsch here, uh, saying that this was tuned to uh, drop D and it was a screaming metal machine. So there you go. So there you go, two fabulous affordable guitars. Uh, they're different and they're the same and they're both brilliant. I wouldn't like to choose between them because I love both of them. I'm intending to keep both of them if for no other reason than I can will them out in the future to compare them to some other guitars. Mm -hmm.